Hello, I'm Gianmario Pitari, the author of this paper discussing a novel class of therapeutics for ulcerative colitis. Ulcerative colitis is an inflammatory bowel disease characterized by chronic mucosal inflammation of the colon. The disease is more common in Western countries than in the developing world. In the US, about 500,000 persons are affected by ulcerative colitis. Pathogenetic mechanisms underlying the disease remain unclear, although it is now apparent that both environmental genetic factors play a role. Specifically, the loss of the fine balance between bacteria colonizing our colon, epithelial barrier functions and host immunity may result in chronic in colonic inflammation. Agonists of the transmembrane intestinal receptor guanylicyclase C, which I will abbreviate as GCC here, are small peptides characterized by intrachain disulfide bonds absolutely required for their biological activity. They include endogenous hormones guanylin and uroguanylins regulating intestinal fluid balance and mucosal homeostasis, the bacteria enterotoxin ST, the most potent GCC ligand which mediates sacred diarrhea in geographic areas of poor sanitation, and synthetic drug linaclotide, plicanatide, and SP333, not shown in this cartoon. Linaclotide is an analog of the ST with three disulfide bones, which has been recently approved in the US for the treatment of patients with chronic idiopathic constipation and irritable bowel syndrome with constipation. In contrast, plicanatide and SP333 are analog of the endogenous ligand uroguanilin. Plicanatide is in clinical development for the treatment of chronic idiopathic constipation and constipation predominant irritable bowel syndrome. Importantly, SP333 has been investigated specifically for the treatment of patients with ulcerative colitis and is still in preclinical development. In ulcerative colitis, abnormal immune responses and colonic inflammation reflect inappropriate exposure of the subepithelial compartment to luminal antigens for disruption of the mucosal barrier integrity. Pathogenetic mechanisms underlying loss of intestinal barrier function include various processes such as cell lineage imbalance, defective mucus layer, disassembly of the tight junction and hyperpermeability of the epithelial cell monolayer. Administration of GC agonists reconstitutes normal environment immune interaction by restoring the colonic mucosal barrier integrity through the promotion of cell lineage dependent homeostasis, the reconstitution of optimal activity of the mucosal layer and the re-establishment of tight junction between epithelial cells. In conclusion, GCC agonists are attractive novel therapeutics for ulcerative colitis with a unique mechanism of actions which would enable restoration of colonic mucosal integrity. This is very important as about 10% of patients with ulcerative colitis undergo colectomy as a result of severe disease and resistant to the current pharmacological therapy. Therefore, GCC agonists have a great translational potential for the future management of patients with ulcerative colitis.